everybody, welcome back to Connerty Meadows Farm. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Ricky. For those of you that have been around, welcome as well. On today's video, I do want to talk about uh, milking machine pumps. I have a milking machine. What kind of pump do I get? How do I set it up? How can I make it work? I can't afford a big pump that comes with a big barn. I only have one cow, I only have a couple goats. Whatever your concern is, I'm gonna go over with you what our pump looks like. I'm gonna show you it in action. And I'm also gonna to refer to you uh, a video that I've done showing you how to milk with a surge milker, which I'll link uh, somewhere up there. So this is what they call a stage two vacuum pump. And this is essentially what it looks like. It is portable, so it has that nice little handle on it. So you can see here, it's a stage two vacuum pump. Uh, it comes with a warranty. This thing is now probably uh, six years old at least. Um, here's your model number and whatnot. I am not affiliated with this company at all. I'm just showing you what we use. Okay, so then we have this whole big line of pipes here. And I'm gonna go over what they are so that you can see. So this first one here, which is attached to this, is what attaches up to our milking machine. This shuts the pressure on or off. This one here does not need to be this long, but because we are a little ways away from the plug, this shows me what my pressuring is. Now this we actually purchased from Surge. We do run a Surge milker here. So this one was purchased from Surge. And what you want is for this to pulse right up in here and when ours pulses it jumps back and forth right in on there this is the plug for the filter you need to take this off before you milk and then what is all of this so i'm just going to show you what kind of joints we have here this is on the pump itself okay and then we've added these fittings and we've added these fittings here these fittings are so that we could put the gauge on and so we could have a switch to let our pressure on and off this is the main one we want to talk about I'm going to switch to this side because the lighting is better. This just looks like a big mess here of things. But what it is, we bought this also from our um, dealership that does surge milkers or deal a valve or any of them. And this regulates. So this one is small increments and this one is large increments. And we just twist these to make sure that we get this during milking where we need it to be this is set now for us so we don't i don't want to play with it but this twists and this twists i just don't want to play with it because it's set perfectly right now for during milking for what we need so it is a little bit of a mishmash to get this on it's just because the attachments for this obviously did not fit this exactly so we had to go down or i uh, sorry we had to go up by increments to get to the size that would fit with this so you could ask your um local dealer i've ordered from if you're in the states i've ordered from hamby dairy supply I know there's a number of other ones. For us in Canada, your best bet is probably your deal of valve dealer, or you can see there are still some deal of valve dealers that carry surge. If you're unsure of where to go for parts, 
for uh, your stage two or even your milking machine, uh, check out your local feed store. They generally know who the farmers are and where the farmers go to get their parts. They're around, you, you just might have to put a little bit of extra work into it. Where can you find a milker for a decent price? My first milker, the belly surge, I have two. One is the bigger jar and one is the smaller jar. The bigger jar I actually inherited from my father. Um, and then the smaller jar I found at an antique store with the lid. Um, the pulsator I had from my father, but it was kind of sketchy and it didn't hold its pulse very good. So I actually ordered a new pulsor, pulsator in from Hamby Dairy Supply in the States. They had the pulsator, they had the inflations, they carried all the parts for a Surge Belly Milker. So if you are looking, where can I get a milker? Check your antique stores. You'd be shocked and surprised at what you can find in them. And so long as the bucket itself is in good condition and the lid is decent condition, the rubbers don't matter. Any of the rubbers can be still ordered new. The only other thing you need to look for is there's a tiny pin between the um, lid and where the pulsator goes on. And sometimes that pin can be missing if you're buying it from an antique dealer or online or whatever, but Hamby carries those as well. Hopefully, that will give you guys an idea. You don't need a stand alone huge machine to run one tiny little milker. This little stage two has been running our milker now, I think, I want to say about seven years now, might be six. Either way, it's been a lot of years. We change the oil fairly regularly, um, at least three times in the milking season, maybe four, depending. You'll listen for it. It's pretty loud. Um, but the cows do get used to it. In the beginning, when we're training them to the milking staunchion, which just happens to be what I'm sitting in right now, we take the time and we turn it on beside them so they get used to the noise. So when the time comes to actually put it on, it's fine. They're not bothered by it. All right, guys, if you have any other questions, I'd love to help you out. Uh, shoot me a, an email or comment down below and I'll do my best. Thanks for hanging out with us on the farm. We'll see you next time.